Nwike to Fubara. Court injunctions obtained by midnight can't remove reverse lawmakers. Can you imagine? So Nwike is still staying at Abuja and thinking of how to upturn the victory that uh, Fubara is already recording in River State. This Nwike, what will River State even do to him to, to keep him away from the state? Because he's still the architect of all the troubles in the state. I don't understand how this guy is playing his politics. He never knew that he would still come back to the state after Abuja walk. Wow. FCT Minister Nyesu Mwike has said that court injunctions obtained by midnight cannot be used to unseat any member of the River State House of Assembly. What is your business? Are you the governor? Eh? So Mwike spoke on Saturday at a Grand Civic reception held at Ogubolo in honor of Chief George Thompson Sekibo to celebrate his 20 years of service at the National and the 36 States of his life in public service. If they like, they can go to anybody by 2 a.m. or 4 a.m. to get injunction. The law will take its course. We must follow due process, Mwike said. Turning to the suspended assembly members, Mwike said, don't be afraid. Nobody will remove you as a lawmaker. Most of you don't understand. This is our work. Our business is to make them to fear. That is what I am doing. We will make them to be angry ever, every day, and they will continue to make mistakes. We can declare that backing Governor Sinalai Fubara was a mistake he would correct at the appropriate time. I want to say this clearly in life. We have made mistakes. I have made a mistake. I own it up and I say, God, forgive me. I have said, all of you forgive me, but we will correct it at the appropriate time. I am a human. I am bound to make a mistake. So forgive me for making a wrong judgment. So nobody should kill. Can you imagine? Nobody should buy. Nobody should buy anybody. So you see me. I stand straight. I think well. I came with Senator Magnus Abbey. I work with people that have brains. On politics, when people with brains agree, they disagree. Those who don't know what to do but said they would bring me down, they who born there, they are nowhere. When you are in charge, you are in charge. Everything will come down. All things, all these people running around, they will come down. Boma worked for his appointment, okay? He showed loyalty and committed, and that is why God placed him there. Don't worry. Can you imagine? Let me also advise you, forget about how they abuse us. You must be alive for people to abuse you. If you are dead, will they abuse you? At the appropriate time, when the result will be announced, we will know who is who. We have defeated them severally. Some of them ran to Abuja, but when I went to Abuja, they ran back here. Have you not seen the way Abuja is moving? No amount of propaganda can help you. Eh? Ogu people have uh, shown loyalty and I want to thank them. Most political associates of Mwike, such as Senator Magnus Abe, Managing Director, Niger Data Development Commission, Dr. Samuel Ubuku, NDDC Director, okay, Finance and Administration, Boma Iyai, House of Assembly Members, Local Government Chairman, Senators, among others, attended the event. Hmm. So he went to uh, that event to go, rather than staying there, they started talking politics in his own address. What does that mean? Who is that helping? Eh? Who is that happening? So, is Senator George Thompson Sakibo's uh, event, that is where uh, Nguike went to start talking politics. Just like uh, uh, Akwabio went to Nguike's burial ceremony in Portaco and started talking politics there. So, all of them, anywhere they go, rather than gracing the occasion and leave, they will start talking politics from there. The same way they will go to church. Rather than go, doing church service and go away, they take microphone and they start talking politics from the pulpit. So all these people, they will never learn lesson. Eh? They will never learn lesson. 
So now what Mute is trying to tell the whole world now is that if Fubara went and uh, obtained the court judgment between 2 and 4 a.m. in the night, Tinubu that's a president, when did they announce president? They announced him president 4 a.m. in the night. So they think in the same way they do things is the way other people do things. The judge handled that judgment in the afternoon right there at Port Harcourt. So if you like, call it midnight judgment too, that is your own. So what he's trying to say is that the, the, the judgment cannot remove the lawmakers, that they, at the appropriate time, they will correct things. And he's asking for forgiveness that what happened is that he made a mistake because he's human, that once in a while you make a mistake. So the thing here is that he's apologizing to the followers for making mistake of judgment by making for supporting Fubara to become governor, that at the appropriate time, he will correct it. <laughs> This guy is still wanting to cause problems in River State, to tell you. Now, there are a few comments here. Somebody saying, but you supported an election result pronounced in the midnight. Eh? It is like confusion is engulfing you. Not be lying. <laughs> Not be lying. I see. Someone said, that is your pain. Eh? Okay. Mwiki. The blood sucking demon will go down. Tinubu can't help him. <laughs> uh, somebody says, all of them still don't defy themselves inside that place now. He's pure evil. It was the young and little David that killed the giant Goliath. Now, so now, <laughs> Wiki needs no one to bring him down. He is bringing himself down already. And that is worse than someone doing it. Abi, the mistake here was when. They decided to foolishly decamp to make you happy without considering the consequences. We cannot shortchange Fubara. It is four plus four. Okay? Non negotiable. <laughs> Not be smart, you know. But you are with a president who was declared winner in the midnight abbey by INEC. And you are still talking. Not be smart. In. <laughs> so he has he has been given this one now. He has been given this one now. You are saying that any judgment obtained by midnight will not work. It cannot remove the lawmakers. But you are working with a president that was declared president by INEC at midnight. And you are working with him. You are a confused person. You are a confused person. You are a confused person. I would say, Mike did well in terms of infrastructure during his eight years tenure in reverse state. But his overbearing attitude on the sitting governor is off the moon uh, of the mark it must be condemned into two by every descending mind hmm. it is shameful for a former governor of a state using this type of language against a sitting governor fueling embers of disunity and rancor in the state he once governed is very bad and not wanting to allow the incumbent governor free hand to run the state if i may ask our uh, oga is River State your personal property? Why can't you hands off the affairs of the state to a sitting governor? Why not encourage the lawmakers to support him for the benefit of the state? He won't do that because of his selfish interest. He's, uh, he's shown that he's evil. Hmm. Someone say, make it takes much more. Had it been Jagaban hands off the affairs of Lagos State, will Lagos be what it is today my friend get off <laughs> get off so you know it is midnight you've been getting your previous injunctions have you <laughs> that they give them back not be good call so that is what is happening here thank you for listening let's have your comment those are the words of wiki in this text <laughs>